Hi y'all, it's Jennifer. I'm so glad you're here with me today. I hope you subscribe and give me a thumbs up for this video that I'm doing. It has been officially 11 months since I stopped coloring my hair and I have to say I'm really happy with it. Like really, really happy with it. It has been a really long time coming. Um, I've gone through some ups and downs like I'm sure anybody else going through this situation would be in. But the main thing is like it's I finally have gotten to that point where I feel good about every aspect of my hair again. Um, the first thing, you know, because when you start growing out your hair, it gets kind of complicated. You, you know, you have this grow out, you feel like you're an ugly duckling. <clears throat> Maybe that's not the right word. Um, cause I never necessarily felt ugly about my hair, but I felt like it was awkward. Like I was going through an awkward stage with my hair. Um, like, I don't know, I guess like when you're a teenager and have best teeth or, you know, whatever it was for you. But, so my hair to grow out has finally gotten to a point where I can, you know, it was long enough that I could cut my bangs back again because I didn't want to have bangs and like they're right in your face and half is half grow out and half, you know, gray. I was like, I'm not doing that. There's no way. So now the hair has grown enough that I can cut it. I, I cut like some light layers in my hair. I cut off a bunch of inches like probably 12 inches over the last three months because my hair just was not healthy. I wanted this gorgeous, sleek, shining hair um, that felt satiny, silky to the touch, and it just, I didn't have it. And I wanted that hair because I've had that hair. So I did a bunch of homework, if you will, on my hair this entire summer. It's, it's been a lot of work. Um, the first thing I did, you know, I don't know if you remember or if you watched my last video at all, but like I didn't even brush my hair. I hated brushing my hair. It was like the worst damn thing in the entire world. The thought of having to wash my hair and then brush it or take care of it, I dreaded it. Um, I mean, and it was a ton of work. Just if I wanted to do a video or go out, um, do anything like to get my hair looking good it took a lot of work and it shouldn't have to take a lot of work so I cut like two to three inches off the first time and I was like okay that's you know a tiny bit easier to brush through my hair um and it was a little bit better on the ends because you know when the only time when you have long hair and you're coloring your hair, the only time it actually looks healthy and good is like right after you color your hair. Because whatever they put in that hair color, it does, you know, it makes it look like you have healthy hair until it fades away and it's totally destroyed your hair even worse than when you started. So I cut those inches off my hair, worked a little bit, not that great. And then I completely stopped using any heat products in my hair. Today is the first time I've used a uh, hot roller, not hot roller, sorry, a curling iron in my hair. I think I watched too much of that 70s show. <laughs> um, so I used a curling iron in my hair today for the first time in three months. And I really like it. I was just like, holy crap, this is so nice. So I'm really glad I went the entire three months of not using any heat products, didn't dry my hair, didn't do anything. And the big thing though that was the biggest factor in the health of my hair this summer was something as tiny as not washing my hair in hot water. And it started like 
just a couple weeks into it, I could feel my hair starting to change, and I'm like, what is going on here? And my hair is the type of hair that when I wash it, it doesn't start getting greasy. Like, it actually starts getting drier and drier and drier. If I were to go a week without washing my hair, it might have like a little buildup at the roots, but eventually, like the ends, would feel like straw and it would feel like just gross, disgusting hair. So I started washing my hair, um, not with cold water, but more of like the lukewarm water, cooler water. And that, literally that one little aspect has had huge humongous change for my hair um so but needless to say I could still brush my hair and it wasn't the best I, I still had to work at it so I cut three more inches off um maybe like five six weeks ago and that um was a huge difference I couldn't I was just like I could brush my hair again I was happy I was good and <clears throat> school started back up here last week and I thought you know what maybe I'm ready to finally put layers in my hair um, and see what happens to it so two nights ago I cut six more inches off my hair and I cut out of the back and I brushed my hair and I was like four swipes through my hair and I was done I was like <gasps> Oh my god, you guys, I was just flabbergasted. I couldn't believe how easy it was to brush my hair. And I love my hair now. I, like, literally love my hair. I, I, you know, I couldn't have cut it earlier because I do love long hair. I want it to grow out. But I wasn't at that place where I could um, cut my hair and be happy with it, I guess. Because it was just still so damaged and it was at a place where the gray and the grow out didn't match yet and I, whatever it was. So right now, this is the length it is and the gray on the underside is pretty long. Um, this is actually really long. I don't, I think it doesn't necessarily have more to do with grows but a lot more to do with um, the permanent hair color is starting to wear away. Because I've noticed I've had, a, you know, um, a ton of hair strands going all the way to the end of the length of my hair, even when my hair was way down here, that were completely gray. And it wasn't just a few here and there. I mean, it was a lot. So I think over time, just the use of hair products, shampoo, conditioner, oils, that it just kind of faded the hair color. Um, so here I am, and I cut my bangs, and I really like that I can wear my bangs. I swept again, and the under, I mean, like, it's really gray up on the underside. And if I were to pull my hair back, it's really pretty gray. But uh, just wearing it down like this, it's still pretty dark. It looks kind of like I have streaks or highlights in my hair right now. Um, and I really like that. So I think I'm going to give my hair a few more months of growth. And then I'll go in and cut in a little bit more layers. And maybe... <clears throat> another inch or two off the length and then I won't cut it anymore I don't think I think I'm gonna start letting it grow out and try to keep it as healthy as I can <clears throat> and I think the fact that I'm not coloring my hair anymore um, and washing my hair in cooler water will have a lot to do with keeping my hair healthy so you know um let's see what else You know, and a, a lot, I don't know how many of y'all are going through the same journey with me of stopping coloring your hair and letting just whatever's there grow out and have your natural hair be your hair color. Um, I, 
you know, it's really weird because I kind of equate it to buying a new car, which sounds totally stupid, but I don't know if you've ever bought a new car or wanted a new car, <clears throat> and then you're out driving on the road, and it's like your car is everywhere. Um, you see it everywhere. You notice it more. It's all over the place around you. So when I started growing out my hair, I kind of felt like I was the only one until I started looking around and I was like, wow, there are lots of people growing out their hair too. I'm not going through this journey by myself. Lots of my friends and family members are doing this, which is so totally crazy to me. Um, you know, so <clears throat> I think it has a lot to do with just embracing who you are being beautiful with what you have and being happy with it. And I'm totally happy with what is going on with my hair right now. So if you're thinking about doing this, um, you know, I applaud you, encourage you, because one, you save a crap ton of money. <laughs> from not having to buy a hair color or go to the salon and get your hair colored. Um, your hair will be healthier and thank you for it. You know, it's just, I'm, the hair health journey has taken such a long time for me this past 11 months, um, but I'm so glad I did it. And I, I can't believe, literally, that I lasted this long. Because there are some times I've been like, maybe I should color my hair again. And then I'm like, why do I want to go down that road? And why do I want to start coloring my hair every three weeks again? Because that's literally what I was doing. Because I didn't necessarily mind what was going on up at the top. But the amount of gray at my temples, um, I, I hated. But now that it's to this, I'm like... So happy so if you want to do this please do it I've gotten lots of questions um, also if I'm still using the Vizcal have I tried Nutrafol so I have had some concerns about the quality of products uh, that I've been using lately and I say that because there have been lots of media lately about flash market products on Amazon uh, and other online retailers and I just didn't know what I was putting into my body and I had questions about it. So one month I was taking to this cow and I got a new box in the mail and it was completely different. The pill shape was smaller um, still kind of looked, it was the same shape, but it was smaller. And so that really made me start thinking, is this even this cow? Is this? So I don't know. Um, so I stopped taking the Vivid cow because I had concerns about it. And I, I stopped taking the product maybe after a month or two, I can't remember. But my hair started falling out like crazy. Like I had just had a baby fall out. I mean, there's hair all over my bathroom still. Even, and it's been a while since I stopped taking it. And I started trying the Nutrafol. And I gave that a whole bottle, which is an entire month. And it didn't stop the hair fall. I didn't expect any new hair growth or anything like that. But I expected it to slow down the hair fall. And it did not do that. So at least it didn't do that for me. Now everyone has a different experience with everything. Um, now if I had kept trying it, it might have stopped the hair fall. The thing about Nutrafol is that for me, it's just too expensive. And granted, I do spend a lot of money on my hair and my skin. Um, but I couldn't justify spending that much money on a bottle of Nutrafol every month that I had to make sure actually got to me every month. So then I started taking the Vivis Cal again, and this time I do not order from 
anybody but an, a verified online um, retailer for the Vizcal. And you and do I sell the Vizcal? No, I don't sell the Vizcal. I've just used it for so long, and I've seen such incredible results from it for me that I know it's an incredible product. And the fact that when I stopped taking it, I had such massive hair fall just goes to show me, to prove to me, that it was working and doing a great job. So, I just recently started taking it again. It hasn't, I'm still having lots of hair fall. But, needless to say, I'm still very happy with my hair. I actually couldn't be happy. I haven't been this happy about my hair in such a long time. So, alright. This video has gone for way too long. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. It's been great to talk to y'all. I hope I see you again. Bye.